Hello everyone, I am Mayank and welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will take you through a hands of lab demo of how we can analyze WhatsApp group chat using machine learning. Before we start, I hope this screen is clearly visible and the audio is fine. If yes, please type in yes. If there are any issues, do let us know in the chat section so that we can resolve them. Let's wait for some more minutes to let other people join. Until then, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for the latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn. Okay, great. I think we can get started. So let's move to the programming part. Here we will type Jupyter Notebook and press enter. So this is the landing page of Jupyter Notebook and it select open new Python file here. We will go new Python file. So this is how the Python kernel look like, Jupyter Python kernel look like. So here we will change the name. WhatsApp group. Okay. Yes. So here first we will import some major libraries. First we will import import re regular expression and then import regex. I will explain one by one. So don't worry. Import pandas as ed import numpy as np and the fifth one is import dot dot express as px okay then from collection import Counter okay. and import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. Okay, this is for the graph and from OS import path. Okay. And the next one is from PIL import then this is the major one import date time and this one is the important what cloud port cloud my stop words upwards and then image color later okay then person matplotlib Then press enter. Let's see. Uh, collection oh, should be collections from word cloud import word cloud stop words image color generator. Yeah, so cannot import name word cloud. Okay, sorry, it should be small. Okay, so rest is fine. So NumPy is a Python library used for 
this one numpy is a python library used for working with arrays it also has a functions for working in the domain of linear algebra and matrices it is an open source project and you can use it freely numpy stands for numerical python and the panda panda is a software library written for the python programming language for data manipulation and analysis in particular it offers data structure and operations for manipulating numerical tables and time series this matplotlib pyplot so for python and its numerical extension numpy matplotlib is a cross platform data visualization and graphical charting package as a result it represent a strong open source substitute for matplotlib the api application programming interface for matplotlib allow programmers to incorporate graphs into giu application okay then this re regular expression so a regular expression specify a set of string that matches it the function in this module let you check if a particular string matches a given regular expression or not or you can say if a given regular expression matches a particular string which come down to the same thing okay then regex regex or regular expression is a sequence of character that forms a search platform okay or you can say search pattern regex can be used to check if a string contains a specified search pattern or not and this px okay plotly express this plotly express module usually imported as px contains functions that can create entire figure at once okay and is refers to as a plotly express or px plotly express is a built in part of the daily library and it is recommended starting point for creating the most common figures okay then there is one more this counter library so the counter is a dict subclass for counting hashable objects it is a collection where elements are stored as a directory keys and their counts are stored as a dictionary values okay counts are allowed to be any integer value including zero or negative counts okay then there is one more this word cloud okay this is the kind of major one to visualize so not major one but it looks good at the end you will see so word cloud is a data visualization technique used for representing text data in the which size of each word indicates its frequency or importance significant textual data points can be highlighted using word cloud our word clouds are widely used for analyzing data from social network websites okay then stop words a stop word is a commonly used word such as the uh, and in so that a search engine has been programmed to ignore both indexing entries for searching and when retrieving them as a result in a search query okay so let's proceed further and create the various function for the author for the date and time for the get data time for the you know data point for the android and for the ios like things like that okay so here i will write df arts with it and time Okay. It starts with date and time. Okay. I will write here pattern. Okay. Write pattern. What to give this. I will write here zero nine. Okay. Like it zero to nine plus yes.
Uh, okay, here again. These are for the numbers. Okay. Us. Pm okay. or Am okay. So result equals to R D dot match. If result done or else return okay. Okay. let me give some space for the better visual yeah so now we will find the author okay we'll create function for the author def find author okay then here i will write s equals to dot it then if and of s was equals to two that two okay or else return false now what will will create a function to get data point for the android line okay so here I will write def get data point right put line okay. and date time equals to split line and date comma time equals to date time dot split okay then message was to dot join to like split line split split line and colon find author it search dot split it author goes to split 
dot join with message else else author question and Eight comma other comma so this is the uh, for the getting data point for the Android okay line by line as for the uh, I will like copy paste it and this is for the this one iOS okay so in this we are doing the same like split line the same we did for the you know android okay so moving forward we'll create a function for the split count okay so for that to write text here There I can like emoji. I'm done then why then again g dot english dot keys okay regex So, re dot compile so, I can write join re dot escape em or em okay. emoji index underscore set dot find all enter yeah so now we will import our data okay so we will make a list to keep a track of data so it can be used for the you know uh, pandas data frame and we'll like, we'll create a separate every column for the date time author and messages okay so the major thing is okay let's import data first then i will tell you okay so this is the list to keep a track of data it, so it can be used for the data frame pandas data frame okay so i will let converse conversation path okay. so my file name is whatsapp chat is captain it 
BIT and placed student in E22. This is my file. So, how you can export your chat from your WhatsApp group? Okay. So, this is the data. This is my personal data. So, I can't give you. So, how you can import your text, your chat? Okay. So, open any group. Just click on the top right corner. Okay. Three dots. Then you can go into more. And then you have, can explore chat, including media and excluding media. Your wish. Okay. So, you can download, you can send to the mail, you can upload in the drive, then you can use in your machine learning project. Okay. So, I will write these all the steps in the description box below. So, don't worry. Moving forward, let's do open conversation. Loading goes to UTF eight and then device goes to and first goes to FP dot read line. Print first if in first twice equals to I or else. Twice, first two, and P dot read line message. Eight, comma, time, comma, author. None. Okay. Message contain four things: date, time, author, message. Okay. So for the message, this is the message buffer, and for the 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 date and time and author. Okay. So while. So, dot read line dot line devices device which equals to iOS Pursue dot strip with it and time iOS nine. Start with date time iOS line. So here I will ask data dot append okay. 
Okay, so this is a long. Paste it here. So. So what we did, uh, we created if device is iOS. So the line history will come, and the function starts with date, time, and iOS. This one we created already. Okay, it will capture the date, time, author, and messages. Okay, then at the end the message buffer will append. Okay, for the both. Okay, this past data is for the we created. For the data frame, pandas data frame. Okay, list. So let's move forward and see. Okay, while tre. Okay, stop with pattern is not defined. ER and pattern. So result. Okay. Add data point Android line. Maybe the spelling mistake, as you can see. Point get data point Android is capital. And this what did you line get data point Android? Let me copy it from here. Copy and paste. Okay, then let me run it. Split line. Okay. The split line. The split line is not defined. Okay, let me get back to you. So as you can see, everything is sorted. So here you can see this is the group name. Okay, BIT and Play Student 2022. And this is date and this is time. And this is the guy who created the group. Okay. okay. So here I will write if device also Android and df equals to pd dot data frame as data columns equals to eight Then DF eight. I'm creating the columns PD dot two date time DF. Then URL pattern R then HTTPS plus okay. 
So again, after df equals to for the URL count, count. pattern okay you should be capital pattern comma x url string length so this find them after it else here we are like initializing the data frame pandas data frame so df equals to pd dot data frame as data comma columns equals to date comma time my author yeah so this is the pandas data frame we have in the side that df equals to df dot drop and df date df date dot apply and df date also time okay. comma format let's just year okay percentage year that okay and url URL pattern goes to yeah. is but cannot assign to literal. Well, Copy it and paste it. Running. So now let's see the data set. So df dot had twenty. Okay. First twenty rows of the data frame. As you can see. See, uh, this guy, doctor, uh, something read about. So uh, he sent the message, greetings of all the day from this, this, this. And in this, there is one URL. Okay. And this is the date, and this is time when he sent or when she sent. Okay. So 
In this, there are three links. In this, two links. Okay. Is this related to uh, placement? This guy sent. Okay. So these are the top 20. The number of links you can see in the particular message is two, three, and in the zero, zero, this is the media. Okay. So I downloaded uh, the chat without media. Okay. You can chat, you can come using media. Okay. Let's see the information data. So this is, you can see we have five column name, date, time, author, message, URL count. Okay. So nominal count, date, time, this is object, and this is object and URL count is in 64. Okay. Let's see all the author names, only author names. So here I will write df dot author dot unique. Yeah. Uh, my bad. So these are the authors, all the authors, number of members you can say in particular uh, group. Okay. These all are the unique authors. So moving forward, let's see the, you know, like let's drop all the null values. So for that, we have to write df dot equals to df dot drop and it. So drop and is done. And so these are the some basic, you can say the function of machine learning and Python. Okay. And moving forward, let's see the total messages total. This was to df dot shape. to print yeah the 87 total messages okay the media messages yeah which yeah only two if zero print media why this is zero i already told you like I export chat without media. Okay. So you can export with media too. Okay. So uh, we'll write here URL pattern. Okay, so this is the, you can say the regex pattern, this one. Okay, this is the regex pattern. And with the start with the HTTPS. And the second one, this, this URL count, return URL which matches with pattern and counts it through the all the Lambda function. Okay, now I will write one more thing. was to np dot sum yeah. 
what uh, this will do this is sum up all the links okay so print links as you can see there are 47 links in the group chat okay so moving forward let's uh, let us separate and media messages and the text message okay so this is the is the code for that so link message you go to url count okay deleted messages and this message was deleted okay both the statement and this media omitted this image okay this video for the video and the stickers you send we send okay then the drop and a deleted message and the link message okay so for that let's press enter and let message underscore df dot okay so now you can see we deleted dropped all the uh, you can say the deleted messages or the link messages okay as you can see 87 now 56 only okay so let's calculate words and letters okay for that i have like messages let's go df then let account let account then equals to messages df and message Fly. Fly. You can lambda. Okay. I will write here messages for DF, then word count. this underscore df which dot it okay messages EF then message count one okay so here you can see I wrote here split so word count will be count as like the space you can see the space between the words okay Splitting sometimes with the white space, you can say. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Message underscore df dot at ten. Press enter. Here I have to write messages. Uh, yeah. So now you can see this author sent this letter count 25 and the word count is this and the message count is one only so this package test dot things and this is things this doctors this urgent hiring work from home kind of things and the word letter count is 201 then one count is 31 okay and this is something hexa view things and okay so these are the words and letters we calculate okay now we will see the stats of like author wise okay for that i will write the code and we'll get back to you after that so this is the code for the you can say stats 
ओके दिस एन एरर व्हाट काउंट वे 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 ओके ओके वर्ड्स पर मैसेज दिस एंड दिस ऑल द स्टेट्स यू कैन सी एंड लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द कोड सो दिस इज फॉर द लाइक फिल्टरिंग यू नो फिल्टरिंग आउट द मैसेज फॉर द पर्टिकुलर यूजर दिस मैसेज डी एफ मैसेज डी एफ ऑथर फ्रेंड्स एंड फॉर दिस लाइक आर यू क्यू डी एफ विल कंटेन मैसेज ऑफ ओनली वन पर्टिकुलर यूजर सो वी आर प्रिंटिंग दैट ओके and this shape this one so uh, shall we print the number of rows which indirectly mean the number of messages okay so this word count this word count so word count contains all the total uh, words in one message sum of all the words divided by total message will yield words words per message okay so and this is for the media messages this is zero and this is for the link consists of the total links okay so this is all the data so now moving forward times of the day let's see the times of the day so in which time the most messages is gone like this so messages for df that is time dot value dot bar graph okay horizontal okay then plt dot x label is and plt dot y label and times of the day at which the most number of messages sent okay this is top 10 uh, uh okay so because of okay let me do like this now it's good time a number of messages okay this is it what i can do this number of messages and the top 10 time most number of messages now the time is came to see the word cloud okay now we'll make the word cloud so for that i will first, let me get text pursue or join or join you can say review print this much words or the
ओके डॉट फॉर्मेट लेंथ देन स्टॉप वर्ड्स वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट सेट स्टॉप वर्ड्स then we'll generate the world cloud this is to generate the world cloud okay sorry world cloud world cloud of words background white dot red yes so we will display the generated image and the plot uh, using the you know matplotlib way so here the dot figure eyes population population equals to set it bilinear bilinear and then plt dot axis plt dot show stop words and read as you can see there are 9235 words in all the messages so these are the sums like gmail password fresher and this ready test email and this is student and c something like this these are the world cloud okay so what if i want to see the particular author name world cloud like how many messages he sent and all like this so this is the doctor uh, okay uh, i took from here see doctor redappa and this chandu something and this anusha you can take the number also uh, like no issues so let's see So this is uh, author Dr. Redappa Azur. He sent hiring job, Jan fresher student, and this is Anusha ready join and same the Chandu Vidya ready join. Okay, so this is how you can analyze and you can see data. Uh, you can analyze your WhatsApp group data. Okay, I will add all the you know steps how to you how you can explore the chat. okay so i hope you guys understand how we can analyze the whatsapp group data okay whatsapp group chat data using machine learning and python if you have any question you can ask in the comment section below okay our team will respond you as soon as possible and don't forget check the all the courses link from the description box below if you want this full code just comment for the same i can't provide you the data set you have i but i will provide the steps how you can download the data set for your own it will be fun you can uh, analyze your friends group data who sent this message and that message okay thank you so much for being here if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our youtube channel and give like to this video thank you and keep learning Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.